Sunday night, medical marijuana in Alaska got a bud in a pretty profane Anchorage reporter. We'll be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but it. I quit. And with that F-bomb, Charlo Green, what a name for a medical marijuana story, ended her career at KTVA. Green's legal name is Charlene Egby, and she just finished a story on the Alaska Cannabis Club, which she announced on air she owns. KTVA's news director quickly posted an apology for the profanity to the station's Facebook page and wrote Green had been terminated. There was no shortage of viewers pointing out she already quit. The story was about a November ballot issue to make recreational use of marijuana legal. Opponents have said voting it down wouldn't affect medical marijuana, but Green's story, in which she interviewed members of the club she owns, questioned that stance. The club posted a video early Monday morning with Green explaining her decision to quit. To fight. Advocating for freedom and fairness should be everyone's duty. I'm making it my life work. But can the literal dropping of an F-bomb and the figurative dropping of the mic to walk away from her profession really be seen as advocacy for a cause? We've of course seen countless other reporters curse on air. F me, I can't even f talk. But that's typically a slip of the tongue or a bad edit inadvertently making it to air. Russian state-funded network RT also saw two anchors resign on back-to-back -back days in March in protest of the invasion of the Crimean Peninsula in southern Ukraine. This doesn't quite appear to be that either. It appears Green has admitted in the past the legality of what her club does is questionable. The founder of the Alaska Cannabis Club spoke with the Alaska Dispatch News last month in which the founder asked to stay anonymous because of potential repercussions from her employer. The article noted while Alaska is a state that allows medical marijuana, the state is in the odd position of not allowing medical marijuana dispensaries. And while the founder, presumably Green, told the paper the club currently takes in no profits, the last line in the article notes the club is counting on a yes vote in November so it can expand and begin selling recreational pot. Which means Green's coverage of the vote, including a five-part series on the issue for May sweeps, had potential benefits to her future business. Those videos now appear to have been taken off the KTVA website. Green has also launched a fundraising effort to help inform Alaskan voters and has a goal of raising $5,000. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.